how to get 100% out of your business. And really what we're saying is, as a business owner, how can you get 100% out of yourself? I had breakfast this morning with a fellow that owns a business, a good friend of mine, and this topic came up and I felt it was appropriate to share my thoughts on this because it's something that I struggle with almost every day, certainly every week. And if you uh, have been a business owner for any amount of time, I think you'll appreciate the content uh, that I'm putting out today with respect to how to get 100% out of your business and really how to get 100% out of yourself. And um, so thanks for tuning in. Thanks for subscribing or hitting the bell or being a part of uh, this community of entrepreneurs, owner operators that are trying to figure out how to build these businesses that we can eventually step away from meaning, uh, not meaning that we don't want anything to do with them, but that we are in a position where we have good teams running businesses and we are able to then uh, use our talents, use our resources, use our experience and knowledge to maybe go and do uh, the next thing on our list. And so today's topic is one about focus. And my classic line is doing 10 things at 10% doesn't equal 100, it equals 10. And for an extroverted entrepreneur such as myself, I suffer from the shiny things syndrome where I will get an idea, I will want to chase it down for a couple of days and uh, eventually it will not be as shiny in a couple of days as it was when I first thought of it. And so over the years I've had to learn to uh, become better at that. And I think that there is a way to chase new ideas. I think there is a way to um, look for opportunities to improve the thing, the businesses that I'm responsible for. But I think you have to do it on a measured basis. And the way I've, one of the tricks or one of the hacks that I have come up with is to just simply sleep on an idea for a day or two to see if that, that natural shine disappears with um, each passing day and if something is that important to me a few days after I've thought about it then I'll usually put some time into uh, considering it and figuring out what to do with it um, but I've learned uh, that as a business owner for the businesses that I'm responsible for I always have to be cognizant of the single thing that we're trying to achieve at any given time and every business always has competing priorities there are always a you know it feels like there are a hundred things to do the task list never goes away but there should always be one rock in the road that you're trying to move, or at least this is what has worked for me. And so uh, as an extro extroverted entrepreneur, I can generally do 10 things at 10% and not really move any rock out of the road. I can move a bunch of little pebbles out of the way, but I can't move the one rock. And so uh, I have learned to, with my weekly cash flow, figure out what is the rock in the road that I'm trying to remove. Is it? For the next couple weeks, is it a marketing rock that I have to move out of the way? Is it a sales rock I have to move out of the way? Is it an operations rock I have to move out of the way? Is it a finance rock I have to move out of the way? And that generally guides what I spend my time doing in that week or in the weeks um, subsequent to that. And the reason for that is because um, when you do th 10 things at 10%, uh, a lot of time can go by. Weeks can go by, months can go by because the nature of a business is that it's very active and time does go very quickly. You can see that you really didn't move the needle on anything, or at least I've been guilty of not really moving the needle on anything. And so uh, recognizing each week what is the one rock in the road that I am trying to remove right now, then that's what gets my focus. And it gets all of my focus until there really isn't anything that I can do for it. And then if I've got some time left over, I will then look to put it uh, towards the next thing that I need to be focused on. And so if you're an extrovert like me, you may get caught up in doing 10 things at 10% and never really getting a 100% result out of any of your efforts. But on the other end, and this is reflective of the person I met with this morning, they are not an extrovert, they um, are an introvert, and they enjoy spending 100% of their time on a little tiny pebble in the path. And so, it doesn't really matter what your personality is, but as business owners, you probably fall somewhere between those two bookends. You're either 10 things at 10%, not getting the result that you want, getting a 10% result, not 100, or you're on the other end of the spectrum and you're spending all of your time on something that really doesn't matter that much in your business. What this looks like uh, practically, if you're that particular individual, is 
you will um, micromanage or you will do tasks that really are below your, your pay grade as a business owner. Meaning you only have so much time, you only have so much money to, and resources to try and get the result that you're, you're trying to get out of your business. And oftentimes if someone is spending 100% of their time on something that doesn't matter, it's usually because they don't have a goal or they don't have an overarching focus that they can point to every day to say, this is what I need to be working on. So what they do is they fill their time, not necessarily doing 10 things at 10%, but doing 100% of something that probably doesn't really need to be done by them. And so that role becomes comforting. It becomes something that they are familiar with. And the truth is if they had to hire somebody to do that job, they then, would be left with time on their hands and they wouldn't know what to do with it. And so that usually is more a sign of having a lack of direction or a lack of goals or targets that a business owner is trying to push the business towards. And so they find themselves in their business doing stuff that they're probably not the best person to do, but they are comfortable with it, it's familiar, and so they choose not to make a decision. But in the same way, somebody like me, who's doing 10 things at 10% and not getting a 100% result, it can be for the same reasons. It can be um, because I haven't specifically defined what it is I'm trying to move towards with a business, Notwithstanding, I have a, a cash flow and I understand the business and everything is moving and there's a lot of um, activity every single day. I too can get busy doing 10 things at 10% only because nothing merits spending 100% of my time on. And so it doesn't matter who, which end of the spectrum you fall on, as a business owner, as an entrepreneur, you're going to get 100% out of your business if you yourself can invest 100% of your energy and time into the things that matter. Earlier I had said, what is the rock in the road that you're trying to remove? In um, my business, and the businesses I'm responsible for, I can sort of walk you through what those big rocks are. Uh, in one business, it's my entire focus is in the current structure of the business, where I fit into it, and how we get through the intersection of making a chapter change in the business. And so sales, marketing, finance, all those things are working as they should, but my particular focus is on dealing with some of the outstanding corporate issues that have to get dealt with in order for the business to either move forward and grow or for me to maybe take an off ramp and do something different. In another business right now, it is making sure that we meet our financial obligations as we held out to do and ensuring that we've got the cash to do that. And not only do we have the cash to do it, but that the cash we have can be used to grow the business. And so I'm focused um, on moving out of the way some of the, the big rock that is holding us back from growing. And part of it is cash flow management, but part of it is also where we are physically located. So we're looking at getting ourselves into a new space that will provide us with either an opportunity to really grow or to simply do a better job of what we're doing now. And in the other business, it's coming alongside a team of folks that are uh, working hard and learning how I can best serve them in the capacity that I'm in. I have the, the product knowledge, I have some of the experience, I have a lot of ideas. And so the rock I'm trying to remove out of the road right now is to make sure that I have given to them everything I know. Because if I've given to them everything I know, then that leaves an opportunity for me to now be available to help them fill in the blanks or be part of uh, their sounding board to help them understand how to get the business to the next level. So if you can't articulate the rock in the road that you're trying to move out of the way that enables your business to keep moving, then that's probably a pretty good place to start. We all have the same amount of time available to us every day. We have the same amount of hours available that anyone else has. And as business owners, we have to make sure we're making the best use of them. In this episode, I've attempted to lay out that doing 10 things at 10% does not equal 100%, it equals 10%. And so you need to focus 100% of your effort on something meaningful that is going to help move your business to the next level. On the other side, spending 100% of your time on something that is meaningless, meaning it's not going to move your business forward, is also a problem. And so you should probably spend some time figuring out how can you spend 100% of your time on something that is meaningful that will move your business forward. 
How do you get 100% out of your business? You yourself have to get 100% out of yourself because if you're able to do that, if I'm able to do that, then that means the people that I'm responsible for are able to do what they need to do. If they see someone like me running around doing 10 things at 10% or they see me doing 100% of nothing, then they too will follow suit. That's how leadership works, or at least that's my experience with how leadership works. So if you can be focused, if you can, um, of all of the things that need to be done in a day, if you can laser in on the things that are going to move the business forward, you will find that your team will come behind you and they will look to emulate the same behavior and they will begin to understand that in your culture, the cultures that you're creating within your business, that we have a culture of staying focused and doing the next thing that we need to focus on to move our business forward. And those things should change over time. And depending on where your business is, on the cash flow quadrant, see the links below, that will change the things that you focus on or the thing that you focus on. And I would encourage you, if you're looking to get a better result out of your business, to try and develop a discipline of not doing 10 things at 10% or not focusing 100% on things that someone else is probably better suited to do, but rather to focus 100% of your time and energy as a business owner on the thing that will move your business forward that is currently holding it back. And if you don't have all the answers as to what those things are, content like this should be helpful or uh, getting around other business owners to see how they dealt with the same rock in their path that they need to move out. But you will find that if you can get focused um, and pick one thing, notwithstanding there are gonna be lots of things, but pick the one thing you know that if, if you if you said, Dylan, I only need you to come into my business and focus on this one thing. And if you did it, I know we would move forward. Put yourself in that position and try to understand and figure out what that thing is. So how do you get 100% out of your business? You make sure you're getting 100% out of yourself. Make sure that the time that you're spending is meaningful, is worthwhile, but is also moving your business forward. So that's it for today's episode. I hope you found this helpful. Make sure to subscribe. If you want to chat about your business, I would love to do that. There's a link in the show notes where we can make that happen. Um, I'm trying to learn how to um, build these businesses and become um, uh, removed from the day-to-day -day activity. And I'm learning as an entrepreneur how to use my skills and my experience and my knowledge in new ways. And if you're interested in trying to figure out how to remove yourself from the inside of your business, you can work on it, not in it. Let's uh, chat about it. It doesn't cost anything. Uh, it's a lot of fun. I love learning about new businesses and could probably contribute some ideas, some fresh thinking into whatever it is you might be stuck with right now. So let's make sure to chat and uh, we'll see you on the next episode.